Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to be making a soap called Lemon Lavender Passion. And I added a little bit of lavender and a little bit of passion fruit to the lemon fragrance. Uh, it smells really awesome, but I also wanted the excuse to add a little purple to the yellow because that's the subject of the color tutorial today. So let's get started right away. Okay, this is a really fairly quick color tutorial today. Um, I've given part of this information out before, but it's one of the most important things about color when you're making soap. And let's see if I can show that to you right now. So here's a yellow, and I just want to do a light yellow there to simulate how yellow um, soap batter can become every so every so often. So I'm going to add now. Here's this purple, and let's see one like a lavender lilac colored purple in your soap batter and you add it to that the result is just going to be this brown color that you didn't intend at all and then that's again because the colors across from the color wheel are complementary colors they provide the most contrast when they are separate but when they're mixed together they sort of neutralize each other out and become a brown so today's um, swirl idea, I hope the batter behaves, is going to be to be is going to be a tiger swirl. So the colors stay separate, and I'm going to have an intense yellow, and I'm going to have a purple violet next to it, and you can see how the contrast is really nice on that. It's going to be a little bit more contrast than I really want though, so I'm going to soften the blow by adding a little bit of white to the color scheme as well. So I'm not quite sure about the order. I think what I'm going to be doing is a yellow, white, purple, and then continue that progression of colors throughout the pour. So that's it. and. So beware of the browning effect and let's start the soap. Okay, so I used my most slow moving recipe today because I want this to move slowly so I can do all my pours. And do a tiger swirl. Still want to move quickly too. That's emulsified already. That's got me concerned that I... Well, let's get going. It's emulsified. I might have to change my plans. Looks like it's doing okay. It just really... Um, I guess I haven't made this recipe in a while and I forgot that it, um, it, it becomes opaque really quickly. So let's get the fragrance in there. It smells really good. Yeah, it does. So the yellow isn't going to be affected, the yellow colorant, because this batter color is going to help that along. It's the purple that I'm concerned with. Let's pour the yellow. That's a poor time for the telephone to ring. I'm just going to have to get the message. Okay, so let's mix the white first, followed by the yellow. I really want to rinse. So I just made sure I rinsed off my yellow from there so, so it doesn't bring down the intensity of the purple. And I like that lavender color. You know, just so many factors can influence the soap, so I'm relieved when it stays liquid. This um, neon purple that I've used quite a bit, I don't know whether it's my imagination or whether this particular time that I've order it, ordered it, it's a very um, reddish 
purple. So I have added blue to it this time to counteract that and I think that's going to work. And this is the same combination of neon purple and blue but I added some white to it to make it more of a lavender color. Just want a ribbon of this. Follow that by the white. Just so that the contrast isn't real severe. I'm going to speed this up so you'll see it all but it takes a while to get in the the mold because I want to leave it in these stripes and if I start scraping soap in there I'm going to ruin that top so I'm going to just use this leftover Okay, so this should be ready to do something with and get on this side. I think I'll take advantage of the fact that they're in these great stripes to do some swirling. That's why I didn't want to disrupt the top by scrapings of soap. And I had plenty of batter for this. Let's see. I think that's plenty busy. I'm not going to go through that anymore. Nice contrast between the darkest color, the purple, and the white. So, let's take a close look at that. And this has been the making of Lemon Lavender Passion. We'll be right back for the cutting. All right, let's cut into this. See what we got. Smells awfully good. Oh, I like that. So again, I added the white because the um, yellow and purple are opposites and it's quite a quite a contrast so I used the white to soften that contrast just a little bit also brightens up the soap I waited a couple days because uh, you have a sort of loose recipe so that you can keep the soap liquid longer. Um, it often needs a little more time to cure. Sometimes not, but it's good to play it on the safe side. It is very a very hard soap, so I think I probably could have cut it yesterday but it's cutting really nice now sometimes when I edit these I I don't keep every single cut in the video just because it's so monotonous it certainly is bright and vibrant I got one more cut that wasn't so bad I like those the loops it's funny how a little touch of orange showed up where the purple and yellow met and that's it Let's put it on the nice side there. 
So this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. Thanks for watching. This has been the cutting of Lemon, Lavender, Passion. Uh, again, Lemon, Lavender, and Passion come from the Lemon Scent and uh, Passion Fruit and Lavender. And it smells awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.